bit of news that, or r- rumours and rumblings that were coming out um, last week was the potential for Chris Eubank Jr. versus Connor Ben fight. And did you two see this? Um, it, it'd obviously be yeah. quite a big fight over in the UK, um, whether or not it makes sense for Connor mm-hmm. Ben <laughs> is is another thing altogether. But you know, money money talks, and it would probably make them both a shitload of money. So, um, thoughts yeah. on on that one, Josh? Yeah, uh, yeah, I had some chats with the uh, Boz on this because he actually had mentioned it to me, mm-hmm. and. Yeah, I was thinking like, yeah, it doesn't make sense because I because I immediately thought of Chris Eubank fighting at 168 pounds, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't see how they're gonna work this out. But apparently, I saw something where it's alleged that they're looking to do some kind of catch weight at 156 50. pounds or something crazy like that. So yeah. I don't know the validity of it, but I think that that would essentially be draining uh, Eubank. And yeah, it doesn't make sense from a boxing perspective, but it does make sense from a financial perspective. So I guess that's all I have to add to it. Yeah, Alex, your thoughts? Uh, Man, do I not like this at all. (laughs) We want to see guys go after, you know, champions. You know, it should be about the glory, and this is just all about the money. But... uh, According to everyone I've talked to in the UK, it is a significant amount of money. Like uh, I'm hearing close to like eight figures uh, for them possibly. So I understand it, but uh, at their points mm-hmm. of their careers, I just don't get it. Just 156. I'm, I'm hearing that they're having trouble with uh, a rehydration clause. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm really hoping it falls through, honestly. I don't want to see it. Will I watch it? Absolutely, because I'm a boxing champion. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the issue, isn't it? We, we, we'd all say, no, nah, it's a ridiculous fight, just a money grab, but everyone's going to you know, pay attention to it and watch it. Uh, it I'm going to say it doesn't interest me, of course it interests me, but you just know that like the whole build-up is it's all going to be about a rivalry from 30 years ago, uh, that these two kind of <laughs> had no influence over or anything like that so that's how it's going to be sold and it'll it'll grab the attention of fight fans and british uh casual fans i guess um yeah it re- be, remains to be seen whether it'll be made hopefully probably maybe not but like like we say money's is the biggest winner in all of this and so it could very well happen we'll i guess we'll find out a bit more in the coming weeks and months whether it's something that will actually happen or not. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that um, as part of recent news and rumours. Um, so let's move I'm on. I'm hearing to... it's the second biggest fight in UK that could be made under Fury versus uh, Anthony, uh, Anthony Joshua. Um, huh? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess so. I guess it would probably be, which kind of goes to show that currently... The British boxing scene might be in a little bit of a lull, to be fair.